me just uh, destroying away. Turn an inbound for him. Hi Cylons. Running them down, heck of the vipers. That's how I finished it. Proceed. Congratulations, Commander. But we still have work to do. Okay, still have work to do. Kane has got her stomping boots on. Started shelling out orders before she even finished sticking the admiral <laughs> pin to her jacket. She's out to prove she's ready for the top job of Colonial Fleet. Can't feel good to earn that promotion off the back of your superior's bad luck. But we've all lost someone in this war, I guess. My sister was on Galactica before it disappeared. Pycon's government is blaming Kane for not delivering Athena earlier. Both she and Sinan won't be happy until we've delivered all 12 of the Jupiters to the colonies. Well, at least we'll get to see Athena clear out some toasters before we hand her over to PyCon. Daedalus is ready to jump on your command, sir. Excellent. Jump. Firm and jump. Dateless, I have the Corvettes I had before. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. Go. Jump complete. Dratus contacts bearing 017, Karam 021. Pycon and the rest of the 12 colonies are watching our every move, Commander. Some would see Colonial Fleet fail. Ensure we succeed. No pressure, sir. No pressure at all.
launch fighters. Launching fighters. So say we all. So say we all. Understood. We'll find out where those contacts are. Ships are not lifeless assets to needlessly throw at the enemy, Commander. Adjust a ship's posture to tailor the crew's tactics so that you can match whatever opposition you encounter. A defensive posture. posture ensures the ship's defense-oriented subsystems are more efficient. Likewise, an aggressive posture will boost the ship's offensive capabilities at the expense of the ship's defenses. Hmm. Action stations ready. Yes, Commander. I got a battle star. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Commander, receiving word from Athena's CAG. Their alert vipers are online and ready to return hostilities. Quadrants. Launching Launch. Raptors. Oh. That's all I could do on that goal, apparently. On it, Commander. Understood. Okay, let's do this. Moving set pieces. Incoming. Oh, Jesus. Use squadrons to hit priority targets or defend any of our own capitals. You can recall a squadron back to its carrier if the situation begins to deteriorate. Understood. The battle star is about to be hit with a missile. So say we all. Let's 
so save you all. Side already by. Launch all readers. I've asked Sinan if there is any way we can stop those Cylon tech ships from hacking our systems, but he's being stubborn. We've already minimized onboard networking. Your firewall should keep them out for a while. Otherwise, take the subsystem offline for repairs if they cause too much damage. Or you can rely on the tried and tested method of shooting the Cylons down before they get the chance. Battle stars are equipped to accommodate flak ammunition. Use this to zone out fighters and incoming munitions. Manticore is taking damage. Understood. On it, Commander. A Battlestar is being hacked. Sir, Pipeline Intel just confirmed that Admiral McKinley died in the attack on Fleet HQ. With Admiral Sarkis still missing aboard Galactica, Admiral Kane remains <clears throat> the commanding officer of Colonial Fleet. McKinley oh. was a good commander and a good soldier. We honor his memory today. So okay. say we all. So say, so we, say all. we all. Understood. So say we all. Squadron is taking fire. So say we all.
Our star is taken and pounded. Under attack. Where are you under attack from? Hold on, Dateless. Yes, sir. That has been hacked. Understood. No, oh, about to die. Taking damage. That man's car is going down. Yes, sir. Fire missiles. Manticore is taking damage. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, sir. Manticore is taking damage. Yes, Commander. Hack of my ships. So annoying. There's nothing I can do. All hostile contacts are cleared. If you're finished playing with Pycon's toy, I believe it's time to hand Athena over to their defense ministry. They've already been notified, Sinan. Commander, there's something else. We're having some difficulty with Daedalus's navigation computers. It'll be easier to explain from the war room. Cool, the battle starts to lay down for you. Cylons. Oh, feel is about to be hit hard. Athena took a paste in.
salvo rounds are amazing. And the missiles. Boom! Admiral, Commander, we have a problem. The Idris relay that we use to outsource our jump calculations is malfunctioning. Malfunctioning? What's our effective jump distance? It's difficult to estimate with just the onboard computers. The red line extends beyond Helios Alpha, but we'd probably need an intermediary jump to get anywhere significant outside of the system. This is what an ambush looks like, Commander. Find us a way back to Helios Gamma immediately. I want Daedalus under the cover of Ragnar's clouds before the Cylons can attack. Commander, we're going to need more ships. Sinan's taken up Yards 1 and 2 for the Jupiter-class battle stars, and we're only prepped to crunch manticores right now. The floor crews are changing their build priorities as we speak. There's no use having a half-built battle stars if we can't defend them. Okay, we've got the Manticore hull underway, but let's push its fit out and training schedule forward. Your brand new Manticore is awaiting your orders, Commander. Oh, nice. Sir, we suspect a satellite at Caprica Terminal may be the source of the Idris interference affecting our jump distance. I have the briefing packet ready. Colonial Fleet relies heavily on the Idris network. It provides access to accurate real-time locations and trajectory data of interstellar objects. The network is vital to our jump calculations. Without Idris, we can't tell if there's going to be a planet-sized inconvenience at the end of an FTL jump. We believe the Cylons are behind the interference of the Idris network and using the civilians at Caprica Terminal as a human shield. Caprica has granted us operational access to the terminal surrounds. Galactica is still MIA, so there will be no Battlestar to save the day if the Cylons do show up. To recap, oh we have to destroy every Cylon transmitter we find, restore the Idris relay, and jump back to Ragnar, all without causing a single civilian scratch. Just another day at the office, right, Commander? Not for me. To head out to not causing scratches. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. It's very fun. I can't wait to play some more um, and go through this full story. i um, really enjoying the, the sound effects, the way the game works. It's, re it's been really done really well. Um, yeah, it's definitely worth picking up. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be picking some more of that up soon.